The bumper in your flooring staple is a cushion. It gives the piston something soft to stop against at the bottom of the cylinder. The bumper is made of a hard but flexible plastic. Over time, the bumper will weaken and begin to deteriorate and crumble. This will eventually lead to reduced cushioning effect and potential piston damage. Replacing the bumper is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the base from the stapler. It's held in place with four screws. Now I can remove the base from the stapler and the magazine and nose piece. With the base and nose piece out of the way, now I can remove the bumper. I'll use a pick to do that. I'll work my way around the bumper with the pick, slowly prying it out of the housing. There are two different bumpers used on these staplers depending on the age. The newer guns use the thicker bumper and the older guns the thinner. The older gun also has a metal spacer that goes in with it. My gun is the newer style, but they install exactly the same way. To install the bumper, I place it into the cylinder and then I'll use a rubber mallet to tap it into place. Just until it's flush with the cylinder. If this were the older style gun and used the thinner bumper, the next step would be to place the spacer and tap that in until it's flush as well. Now I can install the nose piece and magazine assembly back onto the gun. The driver is T-shaped and will only fit the nose piece one way. The T portion of the driver needs to fit into the front of the nose piece. So I'm going to rotate the driver around so it's at the front of the gun. And now these two will line up during assembly. Now I can slide the base over the nose piece and magazine assembly and secure all of this with the four screws. Each screw should have some blue Loctite applied to it for assembly. I'll leave the screws loose until the end. This will help with alignment. Now the two blind screws through the base. These could be a little more tricky. and I'll completely tighten all four screws. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.